We have so many packs today with the climax being five ultimate packs. I'm not wasting any time. We're starting with a mini pack, the worst pack that we have. I believe we have a couple of them. We're going to start with an Ottawa. Why did I say Ottawa? Minnesota Wilds jersey. 46 packs total, all earned from playing the game. From either moments, objectives, or sets. You know, a couple from diamond and collectible sets. And this one of our last chances of pulling a fantasy hockey card. Nothing in this mini pack as well. We are hoping for good things. We're opening base packs now. We have a bunch of them. Like I said, we have 46 packs. A lot of them obviously just like one goal players, two goal players. But a pack is a pack. That's what matters. This base pack guarantees us one goal player. It's 750 coins. Henrik Borgstrom is our guaranteed goal. We do get a second one as well. Probably also mentioned that we finished Elite 1 in Squad Battles. We finished Ultimate in Div 2 for the second time this year, and I still don't know how. As well as getting our best champs run ever. 14 wins and 6 losses. Base pack number 2. And it's going to start with number 46. I believe I got these base packs from making the... At least 4 of these base packs are from making the collectibles to make the 87 Connor McDavid. Turned into an 88, and he is nasty. Of course, every gold card, and even some silvers, I'm pretty sure, have a chance at being a fantasy hockey card. And we will take any of them. Well, actually, any of them, because the only one we've pulled so far is tradable, so I can sell him if need be, if we pull a dupe. He's probably the least expensive one, but at least we got to pull one. That's all I'm saying. This base pack also had nothing. We're just here to warm up the pack luck with the small packs. Uh, three of those ultimate packs are also tradable, which is exciting. Coins are coins at the end of the day. Even if we get nothing, that's 60 gold players to sell. All of them 80 plus. And we're jumping into another base pack. Our first color change of the day is Nicholas Roy. And that's going to be all for this one. Or is it Roy? Is he French? I'm not sure. Well, final base packs that were toppers for just making collectibles. I'm pretty sure I still have a couple more base packs earned from different ways. We had an NHL player. I'll take it. Holy helmet. A female coach. I didn't see what synergy. We'll look in a second. The one that I need. It is not. Like I said, we still got more base packs, which are the worst packs we have. We're only guaranteed one gold player. Technically, yeah, the pack with the only one gold player is probably worse. But I, I'd rather get these over with another. It's Darnell Nurse base. 82. Not bad from a base pack. This one starts the jersey. The number 33. This one's still untradeable. I don't know if any of them have been. I haven't been paying too much attention. Gotta keep going. We got to keep going. Keep it going. It's just 74 Andy. Skimming through all the packs. We have one final base pack and a mini pack right next to it. We'll knock them out back to back. I'm going to reveal all. I haven't done this too often. Nothing in it. Back to back base icons. And fun fact, the mini pack had nothing. You won't even see it. Like I never even opened it. One gold player pack and nothing else in it. It's the gold player and it's Adam Fox. I will take that. Our goal today is to get enough fodder to make the fantasy hockey terravine and if we don't pull him i know i have more of these hiding it might be a while before another one hits now for some reason but this one is going to be 79 fogel show me the gold players it is going to be 76 i believe zamula i'm sure i pronounced it wrong let's keep it going we're not even cutting oh this one's a two gold an upgrade times two first player gonna be 74 luke esposito and number two is 74 74 samuel we did actually still have one gold player left over so we're gonna hit him and next and it's going to be 77 dennis we got an 84 already without even opening any of our actual packs that we're here for it means it might be a good day i think this is our last two gold player pack we have three gold player pack even a four gold player pack and this one is a color change it is base nico he sure i'd be upset if his prototype was still pullable but it is not why lie we still have two two gold player packs left the first one we're gonna reveal the second card without skimming it it's gonna be 80 comfort and then the next one is going to be show me 78 rory into 82 boldy i'm pretty sure we're out of those now so i'm doing a three gold player pack they're hitting decently 82s no 83s but an 84 but we get an 80 i was gonna now that is mean. That is the definition of mean. I promise you we're almost into the actual packs. We've been a trooper. We're almost there. The warm-ups are necessary. And we still pulled Adam Fox from the warm-ups. Kevin Hayes to Matt Roy or Wah into Gustafson into Lindbaum. USA, definitely Roy. If it's Canada, it's a coin flip. If it's not, probably Roy. I forgot about these premium packs. I should have been opening these. I'm gonna I'm not gonna skim through them all. I'm gonna reveal all probably. 
just to save everyone's time. Premium pack number two, skip it. No color change. It could still be a fancy hockey card. That's the fun part. And there's going to be no color change once again. There is a Koskinen in and I have a tradable one. So I can sell him. He's worth a little bit more. And you're probably like, why? Because he's a goalie who is six foot seven. And if you play this game, you know, that's value. Prime packs guarantee two NHL players, which is great chances for fancy hockey cards. We're going to start. I'm going to go through this one normally. It's going to be 83 Gensel. I'll take it. Like I said, fodder of any sort. And an 85 Shesterkin. I mean, the definition of fodder. I could also try him in net. I haven't tried him this year. We need, is it five? I think it's five 85s to be able to do that. Same. We're all going to have to do it multiple times. We also have an 84 overall choice pack. I just remembered because that could be Mr. Teravainen. And I'd be such a happy boy because we wouldn't even need fodder. I mean, we could save it for something else. We're guaranteed an 80 in here and it's going to be 84 Quinn Hughes. I love it. I'm loving all of this. He obviously has the 86 prototype out that that could have been. But from a three gold player pack, am I really going to sit here and complain? I thought about it. I won't lie, but I will not. Four gold players, two of them guaranteed to be 80s. I believe 80 Sprong, 78 Labushkin, Jordan Harris, and 80 Rodriguez. Now every pack that we have is supposed to be interesting. I bet we've had better pulls from what we've already opened and we're gonna get 90% of these. We're gonna start with an NHL players pack, 10 gold players, all of them, I, all of them NHL players, 480 plus, and it's Jeff Skinner to start into Kevin Shattenkirk. It'd be a great pack to try and pull fancy hockey cards. I'm just saying Jack Johnson, Bryson, into 80 Dan Bouchard, into Zach Hyman, Jack Roslovic, Brent Burns 83, I'll take it. 83 plus, I'm happy no matter what. These are diamond collectible packs, or the Jumbo Elite pack comes from trading in 16 silver collectibles, which I got from getting Elite 1 in squad battles. And this one was four diamond collectibles. I should have technically saved, but I did not, and we're gonna open it live. A mega pack, tradable, starting with Jesse. 30 cards in here, 15 gold players, four 80 pluses guaranteed, and we haven't seen a single one yet. Like I said, we want to see that Teravinen. Doesn't even have to be a purple shine. It just has to be a red one. Or it might not even, even be red because the animations don't work half the time. Noah Dobson, 82. Dustin Fall. We've definitely had all our guaranteed 80. Tyler Sega has a fantasy hockey card right now. Obviously, it's only a 71. Like it's, I'm pretty sure it's considered a silver card because it's the overall of a silver card. It could have been in this pack because there are silver players in here. We definitely got more 80s than we were guaranteed. But other than that, it looks like this pack is going to be a miss as we get to the end. I uh, follow and the final card is just a goalie helmet. Well, this player's pack actually should get out of here because it's the worst thing we have left for sure. Should open this first just because I said that the 180 guaranteed is going to pop off. It's just 81 Turnbull. I'll take it still. It could have just been an 80. That's how bad it could have been. Nothing else hiding in here. Team of the week, David. Two elite packs from Rivals. The worst packs we got from Rivals. We're starting with Mike Gartner off the rip. He's a pretty good budget card, by the way. Because look at his stats. 94 speed and 81. Obviously, a couple things to make up for it. Because he'd be broken if they had uh, agility is the stat that they tanked down. I'm pretty sure. Just Drysdale into Tessa Janek. Probably said that wrong. I'm gonna knock out the other elite pack as well. Also untradeable. First card is going to be Kyle Connor 83. Like I said, 83 plus. I'm all about it. Shane Pinto uh rip. Like he's he's alive and well, but his career is not looking so hot right now. I mean, not that it's 84 Adam Fox again, and an 80 Boone Jenner, who actually has an 86 prototype right now, I'm pretty sure. His career is fine, I'm just kidding, but he's gonna be missing some games, as you saw. We just did Elite Pack, so I might as well do a Jumbo Elite Pack. 1180 plus, a great upgrade, times two plus one, and it starts with Ken Johnson, this is tradable. We're gonna be able to do an 84 set with just Adam Foxes at this rate. We're gonna 83, fast, I like it, Kalorn. 81 All-Stars jersey into 80 Mackenzie Blackwood. Holy mass. Sally, an icon tradable, please. I have a lot of things that I could say. We pulled so many icons. I'm going to wait to reveal it, but if it's Super Mario, I give up. We we just have the best pack luck. I'm not one to brag, but if this is who, like, if it's, if it's Mario Lemieux, then let me brag. It's just 83 Mark Tambro there. I will take it. 
Jumbo NHL Players Pack. I honestly don't even remember where I got this from. This is definitely Elite One Squad Battles. The pack we just opened might have been as well, which if so, that's already been a W. 20 NHL players, 10 of them 80 plus. Johnson into that guy. Into 81 Frank Vetrano, who's on an absolute tear right now. Evan Bouchard playing good as well. Jerome Ginla in his base version. Not in Connor Garland. I don't think there's a better pullable in Ginla to have. We're going to get Novak into Maselli. I feel like that's not how his, his name's pronounced. I feel like I heard it and I was like, that. I've been saying it wrong the whole time, which nobody should be surprised because I do that with 90% of names. Uh, this pack is looking to be a dud. Two cards to save it, one card to save it, and it's just Brandon Tanev looking all happy. I'm also going to start with those. I'm going to leave the 84 choice pack for the last pack before we jump into the ultimate packs because that could be Teravainen. I feel like it's a big deal. Hagel to start. It's a Skinner, like I said, 18, 80 pluses. This one untradeable. We have three at total. One of them being tradable. 86 Jack Hughes. Let's go. He's one of the only players right now where I actually could have pulled a better version of him. Like, that's not his base card and there's still a better version of him out right now. There's an 87 as well. I will definitely take the 86. I lost the game earlier to, or this week. And 85 Caulfield and 82 Varlamov. What a pack. I was trying to say is I lost the game earlier this week and it was four to three and this Hughes card scored four goals. So I might have to try him. I keep forgetting I'm not supposed to scream, but I want to get excited because if I scream too loud and I don't know where the peak is, my mic just disintegrates and I'm sure it happened there. Darnell Nurse, Mantha and Haley to start out this one. This is going to be a stinker because the last one was so good. Troy Terry 82. Wouldn't be surprised if that's the best pull of the pack. And so far it's shaping up to be that way. Sandheim live moments. Brandon Tanev, best Carter in the game, the best portrait, whatever you want to call it. Into Chris Kreider, 82. At least give me 183 for the fodder. I, I get it. You don't want to. It's fine. I, I accept your apology. This last pack was a banger. Second one was bad, but it was untradeable. So we'll use all those cards for either team builders or making icons to help make Lemieux. Everything has a purpose at the end of the day. Gary. Achievers to start Ryan Johansson. Jerry with a G or is it Gary? I feel like it's Jerry. That makes way more sense. Dustin Brown. I, I had Brady Kachuk 83 for fodder. You guys are going to have a lot of correcting to do in this video because I think this is my worst for we can't pull his, his uh, fantasy hockey card anymore. I'd be salty. I'm saying a lot of things wrong, which is nothing new. If you are a, a frequent around here, we get Brian Marchment into Dominic Haninato, Charlie Coyle. They're gonna give us back-to-back -back stinkers. At least we got an 83 in this one, I guess. It's less stinky, but... And then that means the ultimate pack should be amazing. It's going to be 80 Granlin to end it. Wasn't well, this a fun scene? Five ultimate packs in the middle of them. Well, as much as the middle as you can be in five. An 84 overall choice pack. And we're gonna open it. This could be Fantasy Hockey Terra Vinen. And I will lose my mind. 84 Team of the Week. Heiskinen, or Heiskinen, excuse me. I'll correct myself here. Pedersen. 84, two more chances. It's going to be Sidney Crosby. I'll take Haskin and I really liked his face, but there's one card we want it to be. And it's not going to be him. Braden Point is the final one. It took us a while to get here, but we finally have the five ultimate packs. Two of them untradeable. One of them tradable. I feel like I've wasted more time than I wanted to. I said I wasn't going to waste any time, but we're done wasting time. Ultimate packs for the rest of the way through. Boone Jenner, Thomas. Not even a color change for Jack Eye. Dominic Fox. So far, all 80s. 81 Mangiapani. Back Maselli. I'm calling him Maselli. You guys can tell me. I should probably have looked it up. 84 Morrissey. Good for fodder. Take it. Ken Johnson. Ryan O'Reilly. Nelly. Player Turnbull again. Brat 82. So far, not super ultimate. Mark Shifley. We got two decent Winnipeg Jet pulls. Another 83. Neckney. Mackenzie Weger and Jamie Ben pulled a Shesterkin from a prime pack. So if one of these ultimate packs doesn't have at least an 85, I think we got scammed. We're going to start this one with Tyler Bertuzzi. The rest after this one are tradable. I'm fine with the untradable ones being bad if they want. John Carlson, 83. Anything 83 plus is a win. I'll keep saying it. You don't forget. Larkin, another 83. Sonny Milano. Capo Caco. 84 Morrissey again and 84 Harvey. Back-to-back -back 84s. I love it. Ryan Graves. 
that guy into Jordan Everly. Running out of cards. This one better than the first, but still nothing special. But that helps a lot. Another 84 in Jake Ottinger. And this is what 14 wins of Hut Champs is getting us that and saving two collectibles from getting wins in Rivals. All together, three ultimate packs. I could have made an ultimate choice pack. And we get base Jack Hughes. I figured I'd go with the extra ultimate pack because it's more gold players in the end. Because what we really want at this point in the game still. Brandon Hagel. Aliyev. Emily Clark, 83 Dowdy, Nico Heischer, Justin Falk, come on, Cam Fowler. They're, they're not feeling super ultimate. I've had a better pull from a frying pack, I'm just saying. Gotta tease it a bit to make it remember that it's ultimate. It's not looking very <laughs> ultimate. There's the tease again, base Terravine and into Zabinajad. The ultimate packs haven't been so ultimate so far. Who is surprised? Not me. Uh, not gonna lie, I don't have too much luck with them ever. I feel like they're a myth. We get another Harvey. We still haven't seen the 85. Sandine. We're seeing the same players, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but show me some variety. We're going to get Konechny. Rodin. Araby. 83 is a Benajad again, right on cue. Vince Dunn, 83. 81 Matsu Carello. Claire Thompson. Alexander Wenberg. Jack Quinn, 81 Sega. 83 Hayskinen. And 83 Malkin. Our final chance at an ultimate pack giving us a better pull than a prime pack. Will they do it? They've had five chances. Yeah, I think they would. Starts with base Willie. William Nylander. Into Larson. Brat. We're just seeing a lot of red. Corpus Solo. Anthony Mantha. Victor Arvinson. Into 80 Jake Allen. 84 Dougie Hamilton. They can't beat the 84. They're just stuck on it. What if I do it like this? Pack Tactic Unlock, Eater Rider, into... Oh, do I have, I have to reveal all for that to work? Okay, you guys can probably see. I cannot... It's not cheating. Okay, go! TJ Brody! Do, what is this? I'm telling you, it's the same guy every time. 84 more, I'll take Steven it. Steven Stankos, it's whatever. Keith Kachuk, 80. Christian Dvorak, Razika, and Anton Lundell. I think we're at the end here. Seth Jarvis? That's gotta be it, right? There it is. All five ultimate packs. Not a single 85, and we got one from a prime pack. That is, uh, that's interesting. I'm gonna do one more pack opening before the fancy hockey cards are gone forever. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.